Oh, hello guys, welcome back. We're gonna be doing unpacking um, so these guys right now as I change it up a little bit and open up some of my magic the gathering packs that I have that I haven't opened yet. These guys are obviously not magic, they're from flesh and blood. But I believe it's from the creator that used to make magic the gathering cards. So it's probably gonna have a lot of similar art style. And like I said, I'm a big fan of art of Showing off the cool fantasy art. So here we go. We're going to do two Flesh and Bloods. One Theros. One Guilds of Ranica, One Thrones of Eldraine. And two Jumpstarts. To my belief, Jumpstart, you got to buy two or three packs. Each pack is a theme. So I think you get two packs. You put them together. You add your lands. And it's another uh, format of playing Magic. Which sounded pretty cool. I got two packs. Let's see what themes we get. To my knowledge, if let's say I get two goblin themed decks or packs, it doesn't mean they're going to be the exact same. There's going to be similarity in cards. But apparently if you get the same theme, it doesn't mean it's the same cards. So let's see what we get. So first off, let's start off with these guys. Then we'll do the jump starts. And then we'll end up with the flesh and blood cards, which I'm not familiar with. But I'm hoping they're really cool to by the looks of it. They do look cool. So let's start off with this guy, Throne of Del Drain. It's been a long time since I opened Magic cards. I do have my collection, but <clears throat> let's check it out here. I was always a fan of all the artwork of this. So Weaselback Redcap, Prized Griffin, Mantle of Tides, Raging Redcap. Look at that, Goblin Knight. I'm a big fan of goblins. I have actually a goblin deck. And a Minotaur deck. Forever Young. Rose Thorn Acolyte. It looks like it's a new thing here with the two with the two uh, effects here. Give me one second. Okay, yeah, I'm back. So it looks like it's a new effect thing here. Um, add one mana of any color. Sorcery Adventure. I don't know. And add one mana of any color. Tap. So I don't know what this means. I need to check it out later. Lash of Thorns. And I do remember the rarity. If it was just black and white, it's common. Then I think silver is uncommon. Then I think it's gold and then it's orange. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what the rarities were. Spore, spore Cap Spiders. Steel Gaze Griffin. Oh man, look at that. So cool. Griffin with like an owl head and it's on top of like a pike or something. A hill, a house. Super cool artwork. Wildwood Tracker. Look at that. He has a fox. It looks like it's an enormous fox. It looks like he mounts it. Elf Warrior. Man. Magic the Gathering's artwork. Super, always super cool. Oldham, Oldham Ranger. Elf Knight. Look at that. So cool. Shambling Sweet. So here's a go. I think silver means uncommon. Righteousness Instant. Gold Rare, Legendary Creature, Elf Noble, Ayara, Fist of Lotwain. Super cool. We got Forest and a Mouse. <laughs> Look at that. A Mouse Token. Super cool. Alright. Next up, Theros. I just picked up random packs of different sets since it's been a while since I've actually bought Magic cards. I figured let's throw... And a little bit of everything. So we got funeral rites, triumphant surge. Like, look how cool that monster looks. So cool. Unknown shores. So this is a land. Bright breath, cattle plevis. Man, look at that. Purple fire or smoke. Looks like a hybrid bull with the undead something and a tiger or something zebra. Super cool. Captivating unicorn. I know my daughter is gonna love this one. Here, let me show her. Look, look, unicorn. You want it? It's a unicorn. You want it? It's nice. No. It's a monster thing. Oh. You want a unicorn or no? No, because it's not a Pokemon. No, this is magic. Yeah, but I want Pokemon, Pokemon cards. Okay. I'll, Pokemon well, 
unicorn. Okay, I look for one. Fire. I look for one. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> All right, stern dismissal. Portent of betrayal. Look at that Spartan vibe here. Super cool. Yeah, my daughter is heavily into Pokemon right now. <laughs> Omen of the hunt. Brian Giant. Whirlwind Denial. Look at that. Another Spartan or Greece or Roman inspired. Nyx Herald. Ban Banishing Light. Nightmare Shepherd. Look at that. Demon. Super cool. It's a rare. And I got a Hollow Omen of the Sea. Wow. Look at that. Super cool. Omen of the Sea. Island. And a token creature satyr. I wish there was a way to just well I mean, there is obviously buying singles, but these new lands are so cool. And they change it up a little bit to make them look more like energies, which is super cool. Alright, next guilds of Ravnica. And I think for trading card purposes, given the same price as other cards that are four bucks. I think Magic is one of the better deals because instead of getting 9 cards, 10 cards, they give you 15 for most packs. And like in Jumpstart, you're getting 20. So I think for at least how I see it, again, mini art cards that you can play with, I think this is one of the best bang for your bucks here. So we got Wall of Mist. Come on. Focus. Come on. Focus. Come on now. Wall of Mist, Wojek Bodyguard, super cute, super cool human soldier, Take Heart, Demir Informant, Bartisan Bats, look at that, such cool artwork, such cool artwork, Por Porculus Vines, Never Happened, Crushing Canopy, Deadly Visit, Iron Shell Beetle, look at that, Necrotic Wound sick. Looks like he's getting poisoned or something. Joint shields. Inescapable blaze. Thief of sanity. Wow, look at that. Gives you a, a strong Lord of the Rings vibe here, huh? Spectre. The mere guild gauge. Bird illusion token. <coughs> All right, let's go. On these jump starts, there are 20 cards. Each pack is supposed to be themed, and it's meant to have a semi separate format. So it's a pack within a pack. So, how about we open both of these to get the, the outer pack out of the way? Hopefully, I don't damage none of these. Man, these things are solid glued. I'm gonna leave them face down. So they're still surprised when we get them. So let's see. First guy. Reanimated. Wow. Look at the crow. Very necro feel to it. Reanimated. We got sorcery. Reanimate. Archfiend vessel. Mire triton. Gormand. Wow, look at that. It's a crazy demon. Eliminate. Crip Lurker, Rise Again, Cadaver Imp, Crow of Dark Tidelings, Funeral Rites. Man, it's a very ne necro, necro theme here. Right up my alley. Anything dark, horror, werewolf, zombies, necromancer is right there. Tidebearer Giant, Swamp, 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 Swamp. All right. Super cool for the first one, reanimated. Next one, let's open it first before I flip it over. And of course, oh, there's a little tab here. Okay, cool. Making it much easier. And this one is vampires. Oh, perfect. These guys are gonna go perfect together. So this one is a vampires theme. So we got Vito Torn of the Dusk Rose, legendary creature, vampire cleric. Nice. Silvermost Goal. Blood Host. Bloodbound Vampire. Gifted Etherborn. Sanguine Indulgence. 
Agonizing Siphon, Child of Night. Man, these things are so cool. Eternal Thirst, Last of Gasp, Nocturnal Feeder, Thriving More, Gloom Sower, Swamp Swamp Swamp. Nice, these things are super cool. Right up my alley, Necromantic and Vampire. Right up my alley. Give me one second, guys. All right, we're back, and let's open up the last two. Welcome to Rathi or Wraith, Flesh and Blood. So we're gonna be comparing how cool the artwork looks. I've never played Flesh and Blood. I know they're probably on their second or third expansion, but I just got two packs that I saw because I wanted to check them out, check out the artwork, see what it was all about. Damn, these are solid packs too. Okay. So let's go. Reinar, wow. Super cool artwork. Very smooth cards. Oh, Dorinthia, I guess maybe they transform or something. Maybe. Let me flip the cards over. Um, Demolishing Crew. Man, these cards are super smooth. The texture is completely different from other cards. So let's go. Unmovable. Scour the Battlescape. Wounded Bull. Iron Rot Helm. Wow. Cool, cool. Fluster Fist. Look at that. Monk punching this guy around right the chest. Break Nake Battery. B Biting Blade. Oh, look at that. This one's actually hollow. Biting Blade. Primeval Below. Emerging Power. Pack Hunt. Buckling Blow. Stroke of Foresight, Head Jab, and Driving Blade. So these are maybe, uh, oh, these are heroes, I see. Brute Hero, Young, and Warrior Hero. So maybe each card gives you two hero options, maybe, unless I'm mistaken. But um, since I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here, I'm just going to put them right back in the pack until I do for the research. And last pack of the day... Another flesh and blood. Oh, this guy opened up nice, nice and easy. Cool. So, harmonized Kodachi. Looks like some solid uh, samurai swords. Come on, camera. I'm sorry, guys. Technical difficulties here. Harmonized Kodachi. Oh, warrior hero. Okay, so this is a ninja weapon and uh, same hero again. Gosh, log is on. Nimblism, Demolishing Crew again, Sink Below, super cool, Iron Rod Gauntlets, okay, I got the helmet and the gauntlets now, Blessing of Deliverance, super cool, Disable, Snatch Reverse, look at that, if Snatch hits, draw a card, so I got a hollow here, Crush Confidence, Savaging Swing, Emerging Power again, Awakening Below, Leg Tap, Sharpen steel, rising need thrust. Nice. So it looks like you get equip cards, you get hero cards, and then you get uh, it looks like attack cards here. So maybe it's semi card RPG style. But yeah, guys, that's all for today. Again, don't forget I have a Facebook. If you want to add me. Please comment, share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm on Twitch also. I haven't done nothing on Twitch yet still, but I'm on Twitch and Instagram. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and have a nice day.